One of the big issues I've found in relationships is actually to do with expectations and a mismatch of expectations. We talked about this before as well, but I think that I would actually make sure that I would work with someone like that to reset expectations. I would say that, look, you know, maybe I would say something like, um, you know, my intention is to do this. This is what I started with. This is the way I thought it would be. What it has become now is this, and I think we should do this and this and this. And what my commitment to you is to do this. And I was thinking the way we could do this, this and this. What do you think? And then see what they say. And then between us, come up with what we feel is a good set of expectations. Like I've had I've had like massive arguments and fights and all this stuff with people I've worked with and all these kind of issues. But fundamentally, alhamdulillah, we've always kind of worked it out because at the heart of it is the fact that we want to have great relationships with each other, right? So my, I'm really committed to having a great relationship with anyone that I work with. So that's more important to me than my opinion on this or I'm right and you're wrong and all of that. So it's like, okay, what can we do uh, put in place in terms of expectations and all this stuff to facilitate that great relationship? But I would advise that one thing you should do is kind of reset expectations and don't do it from a selfish point of view as well where it's just like oh me 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 i just want this i just want this i can't be bothered with this or do it with like that consultative collaborative approach and this is what i'm saying about raising your game like sometimes you're tired like i can't be asked to be nice to this person because they're hurting me and they're being rude and they're being horrible and this and that that's where allah comes in because you're like i'm gonna raise above and i'm gonna do this for the sake of allah like i shouldn't even be doing this but I'm going to do it for Allah. Oh Allah, I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to do this and do that. And that raises you in, in Allah's eyes, right? It gets you a better uh, deal in the long run as well because then you go out and do something for the sake of Allah. You give up arguing. You help another person. You do all this stuff. It raises who you are and it kind of, it grows you. So what I would say is I would have a conversation with this sister about resetting expectations and, and doing something better for the future inshallah. you know when you keep talking about like i'm too tired i'm this i'm this i'm this i'm this i'm this what is that ego or empathy i'm saying what's going to fix relationships is actually empathy so just be mindful of that and you go into that discussion because if you go with there with the ego ego is what causes arguments and disunity and problems and fights and all of this stuff what resolves that stuff is empathy so if you go into that conversation with just ego 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 me 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 i can't do this i can do this i can i i i, I that's gonna cause you issues and that's why i'm saying like even in this moment you need to raise above what you're actually saying and that's not easy by the way but that's what you need to do in the sense that rather than going i can't do this anymore i'm fed up i this is too much for me. it might be too much by the way yeah like someone else putting their pressure on their problems on you i've got my own mental well-being all that kind of stuff but i'm saying that don't go there from an ego perspective go there from an empathy perspective of understanding and this and that it might be by the way that you go there with an the empathy mindset but the result is still the same what's the result i can't do this anymore that's still the result but there's a huge difference between you going to that conversation with an ego mentality and going i can't do this anymore and you going there with an empathy perspective and saying i can't do this it's a completely different conversation even though the result might be we're not going to have weekly calls anymore does that make sense <laughs> Da 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 da